What's up, y'all? In this video, I want to review this website called Audio Strip. It's a free-ish website where you can extract stems and vocals. So I have an old instrumental that I had slowed down. And I want to extract stems from that just to kind of see what it can actually do, how it holds up with the original audio. So you drag and drop the audio into this interface, or you can click and add it here. So they have three different options you can choose for the separation algorithm. I'm going to try the uh, second one here, version four. And from this, you can see what it has the options for, for extracting vocals and instrumental, bass, drums, and other. Version four, you can do uh, vocals, bass, drums, piano, and guitar. And the last option there, you can have uh, vocals and backing vocals. So I'll test that out as well. So the free version you can only extract as an MP3, which kind of sucks, <laughs> but it is what it is. If you try it as a wave, then you'd have to pay for that service. There are different pricings on here, but I'm just gonna stick with the free 99. So we're gonna choose free, drag in my instrumental, and then I'm going to press isolate. Now it's gonna say, hey, are you a robot? No, I am not. So do the little captures that they have here. And this can take a little bit for it to do. Uh, depending on what you're uploading, I'm assuming if it's like an mp3 versus a WAV file. So it's almost done uploading and then it's going to take a little minute for it to process. So as, as it says here, it could take 2 to 15 minutes. So grab a snack. See you in a bit. Bonus tip. If you want to slow down anything audio related, there's a website that you can use for free called slowdownandreverb.studio. And like the title says, it slows things down and adds reverb. So I can take that original audio file, drag it into the interface, and it's two simple dials and a playback button. I'll press play and slowly introduce the slow down and reverb sound. You can hear it slowing down. I'm gonna add reverb. So this is great for sound design, music production. Coming up with fresh ideas. So that sounds pretty decent to me. So if I wanted, I can just press this tab to download the audio or if you drag and drop it, a video file, apparently, you can also do that. So let me do, do this for the audio. So now if we look at the track that's downloaded, we'll see the track title and then slow down and reverb added to the end. If you press play, we'll hear the slowed down version. Anyway, let's dive back into the other video. So this thing just finished up and it looks like it separated all my audio, which is really cool. It gives me the title of what it is, the BPM of it, the chord, or the key of the song. So that's kind of cool. So let's take a listen. Here's the original. And then this is a piano. So I'm not quite sure if this actually separated pianos or it's just looking at that frequency range and saying, hey, this is probably a piano. Yeah, I don't really hear a piano there, but let's see what's other. Okay, that's part of a synth. Um, so far, I don't know if those are quite super usable, usable right now. <laughs> so this is bass. Most of these things do really good with basses. Ooh, this one is a little rough. Let's skip to a different part of it. And let's go to around the same area in the original. To be fair, there's not really a lot of bass in this song. There's a lot of reverb. Okay, so this is the vocal. I do have like a sample in this track, so. Interesting. And 
this is what they have categorized as guitar. <laughs> um, not quite a guitar, but okay. And drums, let's see the drums. That seems to have everything in it. I was expecting the vocal synth to be separated a little bit more than that. So I'll download all these and kind of compare the original. Okay, so I dragged and dropped everything into uh, Adobe Audition. You use whatever DAW you want to, whether it's Reaper or you know Audacity, whatever you're using to edit audio. Uh, so here's the original audio file again. Skip ahead. All right, and then here's the remade version or separated version. Interesting, hold on. Here's the original again. Uh, remade version. Alright, let me hear it with the drums muted. Just... Yeah, there's... Oh, it didn't separate it as well as I thought. This is interesting. So I tried this out on a few other tracks and those sounded a little better, but you know, it's case by case basis. And for this particular track, I wouldn't say it did a fantastic job. So I'm going to try this again with another song that has vocals in it just to give a fair comparison. So here's an old track of mine. Friday was over and there was that I said I'm not but I ain't a going back So I'm going to drag this into uh, the separation option here and I want to hear what it will do with vocals this time so I'm going to choose uh, the last option here which is their new beta again it's going to be mp3 so I'm very curious on how it separates backing vocals but I don't know we'll wait to see Okay, so it's all finished now, so I'm going to take a listen to the original. And they have this on their other. There's a bit of everything in there. So it's not completely separated as I kind of expected, but you can make out that there's like a bit of a synth strings some vocals in there uh yeah all right so now we have the bass not the best bass but not the worst and then these two so that's more of the lead vocal than the backing vocal, but that's okay. So this is the... Interesting. See if I can line these up. Alright, let's skip ahead around here. It'd be nice if I could see like a time. So it's getting like the sibilance with the S's. Interesting. And then last is the drums. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not saying a lot. It's just my genuine reaction is some of this is impressive, some of it's a little me. Okay, 
Uh, well, for this example, it did a pretty good job at least separating the main vocal, even though it's labeled as backing vocal. And their backing vocal is not the... I, I like, expected more from the backing vocal, but okay. All right. Um, but anyway, that's a quick <laughs> kind of overview of this. Uh, application. So again, for producers, sound designers, uh, people who just want to kind of deal with, you know, dabble with audio as like a hobby, uh, I'd say try this out. Audiostrip.co.uk. Um, it's free. You can pay for additional features. And this is the MP3 version of this. Um, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. All right, y'all. I will talk to you all in the next one. Peace.